we've given our predictions for each of the press conferences and the Nintendo Spotlight. Now we're going to give our prediction. Who do we think will win E3 2017? We'll start with you, Mo. Who do you think will win out of the six that we discussed and why? I think everybody wins. Except Aww. for Nintendo. No. <laughs> there we go. No. I feel, I feel <laughs> everybody is a gamer. E3 is always like something that they want to compete and just fanboy this. Fan, cut all the bullshit. In reality, we all win. We are going to get games. Uh, so we all have somebody that somebody's going to cater to. And if um, whether it's this generation, the next, or whatever console, even Sue's agrees. Um, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna get some games. I mean, we got some good developers coming up with good ideas. Uh, some that are not just you know closing off the market for them. If you're uh, even if you don't like Ubisoft, EA is coming out with some good. Far Cry Five looks fucking incredible. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're not a first person shooter, then you got Assassin's Creed. You know, it's just you. Everybody wins. That's how I feel. It's a cop out answer. <laughs> Why? It's true. <laughs> I mean, Scorpio's on the on the branch here. We're gonna see what they're gonna come out with, and I I know they're gonna showcase something exciting. For me to say that they're not going to come out competitively and come out swinging would be kind of... Yeah, but they dropped the ball the last three years. They so. did, so but they know it, and they're aware of that, and that's, that's what they I'm are, saying. They are, but they were aware of that the last two years. So, <laughs> But, I mean, right now would be time to make amends, and hopefully they'll go that route, so... And if not... No, four years ago is when I just started making... Sorry, I just keep jumping off. Regardless of the fact, if you don't like what they got to offer... You got some pretty reasonably priced consoles out there that you and can... one unreasonably priced one. True, it's coming. Yeah, it's true, but reasonably, and I can see prices dropping for even the Xbox One S and also PlayStation. And I actually in the Pro, and I feel like the Pro is going to drop in price yeah, because of makes uh, sense. to compete. And I, I and they get to answer Microsoft, so it's easy to do that. I mean, I just feel that. So that's my answer. I'm sorry. I, I can't go off. Is everyone wanna, wins? Everybody wins. There has to be a winner. There's always one winner. No. No? no? All right. Not, not in my sense. Rich, who's going to win, E3? Are you going to come out with the cop-out answer? I do like Mo's answer. I'm sorry. I do agree with what he said. But uh, I think Microsoft <laughs> has the most potential. I actually do as well. It's Microsoft has answer, the huh? most potential to uh, to surprise people because there's so much that's unknown. That's part of why they have so much potential. Which is good. Yeah, I think, it is. I think things should be kept secret. I don't think you should let everybody know what you have. Yeah. But that's also why I think that Sony probably has the best chance to win is because we know what they've been doing and they've been doing it correctly. Mm. So stay the course and they have a good shot at, you know, 95% chance of, of winning whatever boundaries out or what I would consider a win. I think the easiest money is on, uh, is on PlayStation, but I want Microsoft to come... Because like Mo said, it's beneficial if someone who's been slacking gets their head back in the game and it'll raise everybody's creative impulses and we'll all be better. We don't want another Atari. Exactly. No more of that. Yeah. So. And I'm just joking with the cop-out answer. I think that is very reasonable, especially with this year. I think each company set themselves up for a huge press conference. Yes. The potential... Yeah. Each one set up potential to have a huge press conference. Now it's up to them to deliver it. And I'm actually really excited for E3 this year. Probably the most excited I've been in a few years. Yeah. Um, before, it might be too overhyped with it. I'm like, that's it? It did get there, yeah. Yeah, yeah they pretty, got too overhyped right. and just yeah. fell here. Microsoft has Xbox Scorpio. A lot of question marks. They can really fuck this up. Or they can really knock this out of the park yeah. with Scorpio. But there's a lot of question marks. What am I leaning towards? Uh, I think Rich has put some fear in me, reasonably, that they might... They, uh, I hope they learn their lesson. I have trust in Phil Spencer, but I don't know. If, it, if it's that $700 price tag, which it could be, and if they don't... I guess I just need to be realistic of who they're really catering to. Yeah. I guess that is probably the hardest for me to accept. Is who is this marketed to? And is it marketed to me? See, I, I, that, I have that question too. Like no, that's, but it, that's it is. It's, it's their version of VR, which will probably be part of the package too, or one of the soon-to-be-added additions for that package. 
And it's basically, this is research and development. This is catering to the people that can take the financial chance, really want to get the experience. But I think their overall message is they need to rebrand what their, their reputation's been. This is good. It's going to be the centerpiece to say, look, this is gamers. Focus yeah. in here. And if you still look at that but turn your head, they're going to have a wall of games that you can't get anywhere else. They'll go, okay, well, since I'm down this aisle, I guess I'll shop here. And that's what they're trying to do is draw your attention. And when you do, even if you turn your head, you still have something that you want. The, the, the thing that I come across is with that price tag, like in my head, I'm considering just going all out and just buying a new PC. Yeah. If it turns out to be more expensive than I actually than reasonably priced for a console, I'm just going to dip well, and buy Well, like a you PC. mentioned, a lot of the Xbox exclusives will be playable on Windows, yep, yeah, so but, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You wouldn't be missing out. Right. So Anything I, else you play on your PS4? Yeah. 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 So you so won't I'm be like, missing much. In the way, I do want to own something that, that it's not showcased anywhere else. Just invest in a VR, mode. PC, here I come. <laughs> VR. You can get the, the best Top one. You can get Oculus. Top graphics, get, everything. And, uh, yeah. And broken controls. Yeah, it cost, yeah. Me, it cost me like $4,000. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Scorpio, they can knock out of the park. They can fuck that shit up. Nintendo has the most question marks out of everyone. I, I know I said everyone set themselves up for potential. Everyone except Nintendo because no one knows what the fuck Nintendo has. They I have hope Splatoon, they have surprises. Mario Odyssey, we all know, will probably be in November. But if they don't have those surprises, there's going to be a fucking major issue. So everyone set themselves up to pretend because we kind of have an idea and great games. Nintendo, we, we have no idea. Sony, they have some great first parties. If they bring out that VR, they have some potential. Ubisoft, I'm actually really excited for the Ubisoft yeah. press conference, how they set themselves. They announced the games. Great lineup. Bethesda, I think, hopefully they have some surprises. And EA with Battlefront 2, how much they focus on, on Battlefront 2, that single-player campaign. But if I had to choose, um, and that's a, a great answer, actually, is everyone has a chance to win. We all win. We all win. But if I have to choose a winner, I would have to go, who I think will win, E3, will come out on top, will be Sony. Wow. I, I, I was do not think... expecting that. <laughs> I was expecting like Scorpio or something, or Xbox. The, the reason why, I, I don't think they'll knock Scorpio out of the park. Yeah. I think the 4K is a challenge to market in a press conference of how to convince people to like this is something that you should purchase, you should buy is extremely hard. And that we show with the PS4 Pro. Yeah. How challenging that was for Sony to market it. And I don't feel they were all in with the PS4 Pro anyways, yeah. how I took it. They're like, oh, we have this. But it wasn't like, we truly believe this the way Microsoft is. They didn't really push it like, hey, they you didn't. guys have to have yeah. this. You guys can still play with somebody yep. else at PS4. So yep. there's no... And I think Microsoft's going to do that, but that's where it'll lead to that whole rehabbing the whole reputation of the brand mm -hmm. yeah. kind of thing. Because they, they'll they give you the hard sell, but I think they are still realistic that they know that that's 1% of the, yeah. the market is uh, going to be up for that. And even then, you're not going to get full attachment, so... 1% of the populace, and you'll probably get 20% of that. So, I just feel like, uh, uh, I know that you made the prediction earlier of uh, the PS5 coming out or something like that, or a new console. I feel like PS4 Pro was just kind of like a test console as well. Uh, but I feel like it's a generally good working console. I just, you know, I feel with price tags coming down, people will be jumping on that. Yep. And if anybody does the Black Friday shopping, then they'll be getting 4K televisions. Yeah. And then to add a seven hundred dollar or five, you know, an extra, yep. certain yeah, I could see where that marketing is going. That's why I think because they're gonna, I, the great prediction that they're gonna drop the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Um, it was four hundred. Yeah, it's four hundred. I it believe so. Four hundred. Yeah. So you can buy even if Xbox at the lowest, the cheapest Scorpio is going to be is five hundred. The cheapest. It's not going any lower yeah. than that. So if they don't knock it out of the park, Scorpio, as in five hundred dollars for this four K, like PS4 Pro. Come get us for three hundred or three fifty. Yeah, for yeah, it wouldn't take 4K. Much. Yeah, you already got a hundred dollar advantage. Yeah, fifty dollars. And oh yeah, we have VR yeah. as well. Day one. We right? have this bundle. And get what, a VR. And it'd be more of a kind of like kicking the balls if they bundle it with Horizon because that game is look. It just looks and is an amazing game. Yeah, like 
That would be a big kick in the pocket. And I think Sony, they have all the first-party exclusives. We Like last week, all those games that we rambled off, all like... And I made predictions of what their fall slate... Like, I doubt they even can get all those games, even this fall. Some are going to go 2018. They don't want to... And that's all exclusive to Sony. Yeah. So they're going to do another non-stop. We're going to get a trailer for Death Stranding, but that's not going to ruin it. What, no, it's, what, it's not be... going to ruin it. But with the games, PS4 Pro, and going in with the VR, I think Sony will come out. <laughs> Death Stranding. I, I don't know how people get excited for that. Like, it's not even a game yet. Right. Yeah, they haven't done anything. It's cutscenes. It's yeah. cutscene the game. Yeah. Because it's not a game. And it wasn't even run on the actual engine that they chose. So that's why I feel that they will make a... Uh, a showcase. I, I will. I think film. he's just going to release it as a YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Episodic. Just yeah. Death Stranding Part One. Part, part YouTube two. Red or whatever the next thing will be <laughs> to get your five dollars a month. So I'm going with Sony. Mo, everyone wins. Everyone wins. Rich, you said Microsoft has a potential. I think Microsoft could surprise us, but I think it's Sony. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think. Almost at each conference, they have a chance to yeah. win. They put themselves in a position that they can just blow everything out of the water. Like, holy shit. It's just been... It doesn't feel like every other conference before this one, just uh, the past few years, like you were saying, just felt kind of like like gray, like in the gray. And now, yeah. Except Sony. Sony last year well, was... Yeah, well, besides that. But um, for the past few years, it feels like everybody as a whole haven't been kind of on point and this year it just looks like we're gonna get some good fucking amazing games but that's where you know cynical me microsoft going so early that's either they got the swagger because they know they've got the the guns to back it up or they just don't care because they they know that this is only speaking to a small portion of the customer base and we're not who they need to convince we're either gonna buy into this or not they don't we're all gonna be on ign watching it right after whatever's the reveal or the interview We'll be reading all that clickbait bullshit for the next month. They don't need to convince us. We're already in. Right, right. Well, we'll have the true answers here. So yes, <laughs> we'll tell only, you how we feel. only time will tell. <laughs> so those are our predictions for the E3. Our in-depth predictions for the E3 show. Who we think will win and predictions for each conference. Please let us know in the comments below what who you think will win E3 this year. <laughs>